Hello and welcome to this session on percentage. This is the first part. You can reach out to me via Twitter. My Twitter handle is Adirate Ravi Handa. In today's session, we are going to talk about fractions and their equivalent percentages. We are also going to see how they come in handy or how they are useful. Let's look at them. See, the fraction of half is actually equivalent to 50%, which I guess you might know. Very similarly, one third is actually 33.33%, one fourth is 25%, one by five is 20%. In case you are wondering, how am I calculating these values? Well, if one or the total corresponds to 100, then what will 1 by 5 correspond to? It will correspond to 20%. How do I calculate 1 by 6? With a very similar logic, I can do 100 by 6. Or I already have a 1 third as 33.33. Half of that will be 1 sixth or 16.66%. 1 by 7 I'll have to calculate comes out as 14.28. 1 by 8, well, once again, you have 1 fourth as 25. 1 by 8 will be nothing else but half of that value, which is 12.5. Very similarly, 1 by 9, well, 1 third is 33.33. 1 by 9 will be 1 third of that or 1 by 3 of 33.33. You will get, as you can see, 11.11. Very similarly, 1 by 10 corresponds to 10%. 1 by 11, you'll have to calculate, not a very difficult calculation, it will be 9.09%. 1 by 12, well, once again, I recommend you take 1 by 6. 1 by 6 was 16.66. Half of that, half of 16 is 8. 0.66 is 0.33, which gives me 1 by 12 as 8.33. 1 by 13, once again, you'll have to calculate, comes out as 7.69. 1 by 14, you have 1 by 7 here, given to you as 14.28. Half of this, half of 14 is 7. 0.28 is 0.14. So 1 by 14 comes out as 7.14. 1 by 15, well, there are plenty of ways of doing this. You have a 1 by 5 as 20. One third of this is 6.66. You could have also done it as you have 1 by 3 as 33.33. You could have divided it by 5. Once again, would have led you to the same result as 6.66. Another important point is, where are these going to be useful or why do I even need to know these percentages? Well, you need to know these percentages just so that you can calculate a little faster. You can't imagine how easy things will be if you have something like this. Let me take a rough example. Let's say you have to calculate 28.5% of 35. Now this looks like a difficult calculation, but if you know 1 by 7, is 14.28. So if 1 by 7 is 14.28, you can do this in your head. 2 by 7 will be roughly 28.56 and 28.56 is terribly close to 35, which means instead of calculating 28.5 of 35, you can simply calculate 2 by 7 of 35, which comes out as 10. Once you have the value of 10, look at the options. If there is an option which is 10 and the others are very, very far, well, your answer is 10. However, if there is an option like, let's say 9.98, there is 10.04 and stuff like that, your answer will be just less than 10. Why? Because 2 by 7 here, as you can see, is 28.56. So you have calculated 28.56 as 10, 28.5% will be little less than that. And that is how you can use these fractions that you have here and their equivalent percentages for easier and faster calculation. Hope that helps. With this, I'd like to wrap up the small session. Please provide feedback via Twitter at my Twitter handle at the rate Ravi Handa. Or you can also get in touch with me at my mail ID, which is ravihanda at the rate gmail.com. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot.